Hi there guys, Explosive Discharge. We are testing this inverter out. This is the 150 watt inverter, modified sine wave. That battery over there is connected to the inverter, powering it, and then on the output it goes into the scope. So we're just having a look at the modified sine wave that it's putting out. If I can try and make that nice and still. How does that pick up on the camera? Might want to give it a bit more intensity. intensity. It's a bit better with a bit less actually. You see that really clearly. Yeah, so you can see zero volts, minus 240 volts, zero volts, plus 240 volts, at 50 hertz. Yeah, very faintly, we can actually see the, the uh, vertical lines between those, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you can just about see them there, with the intensity turned up, but um, it's shit. Let's pop it. <laughs> What's the wave as you turn it off? God. Chris, what have we got on there in the freezer? Oh look, we've got we've oh. got this got this motherboard just happens to be next to um this Who's motherboard this? next to the welding transformer. Oh, well uh Yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go in a bit, won't we? Yeah, and we'll uh we had some smoke pouring out of this the other day in my uh, on my desk. So uh USB I cup warmer, is it? Quickly killed it. Yeah, this this was a USB cup warmer. We put twelve volts through it and that knackered it enough, so we'll put yeah. some AC through it and see what happens. Yeah, that is pissing me off. Anyone know anything about chargers? We're trying to charge up our um, UPS supply and it just won't really get any higher than 11.5. And uh, the charger, as you can probably see, keeps flicking off and on again, randomly. Yeah, and I mean, if it had got to 13 volts, and yeah. doing that. Okay. It's nowhere near at its optimum charge point. It's just good old fashioned bit of popping here like we used to do. We've got a USB cup warmer rated at 5 volts. We're going to run it on 12. There's a fair amount coming out of that, isn't there? It looks like it's melted through a bit. Uh, on the soft side, and <laughs> you managed to light the match with it. <laughs> wow! Fuck me! How hot do you reckon that is? Fuck knows. Hello, guys! Explosive discharge. Um, we've rewound our transformer. We've uh, used double the amount of cable, we've got no crossovers or anything like that. Um, and as you can see, just to test, we've got this little bit of, what's that, one mil? Probably about that, yeah. One or two mil square. Yeah. Three, two, one. There's the insulating tape, and we're glowing red. Oh, cack. Four hundred and eighty amps. Yeah, that not is. particularly good connection there either. One hundred and eighty-six, four hundred and five hundred. That's tough an hour. <laughs> five hundred amps. And we're getting barely any arcs. How many volts do you reckon that is? And a grand total of just over a volt. One point one volts. <laughs> we're gonna have to pop this spanner, Don. Pop this spanner across it. Give it a connection, Dom. Right. What have we got there? Oh, only 430, 430 amps. That's not very many, is it? No. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh dear. You ready, Chris? Yeah, that'll do. Wow. Get up close and personal. We've got take two. Give it some whenever you're ready, Chris. Got oh, not many amps. Four hundred and a bit. We're getting red hot now. <coughs> Fuck, we are as well. 
going to be able to bend this in a minute. I think the mole grips are okay to handle. So, do you want to take the camera or you want to bend? Give it a minute. Oh, look at that. How much effort are you having to put in there? Literally none. It will probably bend under its own weight in a minute. Yep, it is. You can see it going. Kraken. Sorry. Anyway, Chris just went in for dinner and I got aboard. So I kept shorting the transformer against itself and I had 600 amps coming out of it. So I'm going to try and get that going on here. Six hundred and twenty-five. That was about. We've got six hundred and twenty-five, and we've had that sitting in the freezer in the hope that. Uh, yeah, we, that's already twenty more than I had. So, so um, do you want to keep it in there for a bit, Sam? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Just about to melt a spanner. We'll try. We've had this in the freezer for about half hour, forty-five minutes. Um, it's reading about between six and seven degrees on our little laser thermometer. Temperature control, you've got the chisel, go. Got a hell of a lot of buzzing going on. Fifty nine degrees all round. And the spanner? Spanner is at uh, get a reading of the spanner. Three hundred and twenty five. 350, 360, 400, 450, 470, 500, 500 degrees C. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, the laser doesn't actually line up with it. No. Oh, that went off the chart then, didn't it? 526 we had just there. What does this guy up to? Oh, it says on the side, the other side. 380 degrees. So we've had it up to 520 and it's gone off the scale. Yeah, we're off the scale of the thermometer now. That's good. Do you think we can melt steel with this? How hot is the transformer? Uncomfortable. 70, 90, 100 degrees. I'd say that's an exaggeration. Would you? We've got quite a lot of shit going on at the uh, insulation wise. Do you, to, do you want to melt it and then turn it off? Should we turn it off now? You want to melt something against it? Oh, right, that's what you mean. Hold on. Seven amps is a three amp fuse. Obviously, it isn't. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get it much faster. This is uncomfortably hot now. Do you want to just rip it over? With a bit of bending you'll be able to, mate. Feel the transformer. And that is modern art. Pick it One up day everyone will be like, why is it so bent? Feel the transformer, mate. I think we must have flattened off that earth cable at the bottom. It's got a good sort of yeah, 510 degrees still there. Someone who I to try and run it in the freezer one day, see if we can keep it going for a bit longer. We need some liquid nitrogen, if anyone would like to donate some. Liquid nitrogen, yeah, that'd be nice. So here we've got uh, Intel's new motherboard, came out last week. It's uh, Pentium 4. And uh, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of features. You've got three PCI. Oh, God! I oh, know, did you just drop that on the transformer, mate? Yeah, it didn't do anything, though. 
reckon it'll only be like 10 amps. Okay, 50. This motherboard can handle 50 amps. So the USB plastic melted. Melting. Too hot to handle. Give it some on the back of the barrel port. God. It's not good. It's supposed to discharge, vented the parallel port. <laughs> I can that still run. Heat sink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we take the heat sink off and just do it across the back of the processor. We Intel is we'd, uh, we'd test the processor for... Uh... Test the processor for how many amps it can handle. It's been about 400 amps there, isn't it? Hmm. So obviously Intel are currently pushing the limit on the, uh, the old processor. Oh, what's that about? What? How did it take that and not even go red? It's quite big, isn't it? And it's quite a thick alley on the top. There we oh, go. Yeah, there we go. Not getting anything. We've got 390 amps there. <laughs> That's the one. Ooh, process of smoke. You're all breathing there, Chris. Just about. That's very toxic, by the way. I'll give it another go, but I'm going to have to remove my hands from myself soon. Should I make a better connection? Yeah. 